Hey, what's going on to the DTO Superstore YouTube channel? Uh, today we're going to do a quick little demo discussing color knockouts, whether you want to knock a black out, a white out, or even any other color. We're going to cover all that in this video. So there's a few reasons why you would use a color knockout with DTF printing. White. Sometimes you may get an image and there's an obvious white square or rectangle around the art, which of course you don't want to print that, so you would knock the white out. Sometimes you'll knock the black out because commonly we print on black shirts and there might not be a reason to print the black and we can just use the garment. And lastly, you might knock a color out. In this case, let's say we were printing on a red shirt. So, I might as well use the red of the shirt instead of this red that's in the artwork and that will make less ink and a little bit better fill on the t-shirt. So let's discuss how to do all three. So before we get started, a couple quick things to know. First is that you need to be using a PNG or a JPEG to do this. So if I right click on my image up here in the top list on the left, you will see I can scroll down to production plugins I have knock me blackout and knock me color out. If I click on this PDF below, right click again, down to production plugins, it's all grayed out. That's because you cannot do this on a PDF. All right, let's really quick talk about the difference between knock me blackout and knock me color out. Knock me blackout has existed within CAD link for quite a while, but knock me color out was on a recent update a few months ago. The blackout is going to quickly knock it out automatically. As you can see, my black is all gone now. And so if I was on a black shirt, it's going to look correct. But just to point out how this looks otherwise, see my black is all gone here. If I was printing on green, that wouldn't work. But now with the new feature, you can instead go to this knock me color out. Now on this top box, you can just on the fly click any color you want and see the preview instantly. So if I wanted to punch the blue out, you can see the adjustment down below. Maybe this orange in the fire. Let's say we're going to print on a gold t-shirt and perhaps we can use that as the beak color. So I'm going to click on the beak here. Go down below, make sure I'm on shirt color. Pick a golden color, click OK and we can preview that here. Now there is a little bit of artwork that's a darker gold and that is maintained so that will still print but a majority of the beak will be the shirt color in this case. All right, let's point out one more thing so you can understand how this works a little better. If someone gave this to me and the file did have a white background, well, I would want to get rid of that, yes. But I would not want to get rid of the white within the eagle's head. And what the CAD link tool does is it's going to remove the entire color. So because I'm mimicking printing on a shirt color of white, you can't really see that. But the white is gone, and if I change this shirt color to let's say green, now you can see that's gone, so this isn't gonna work. So if you wanna get rid of the color entirely, yes, this works. If you need to truly get rid of just the background, then you might wanna go in something like Photoshop or GIMP, uh, let's take a look at this here. I flattened this image so it does have a white background. Uh, there's a lot of ways to do this. I'm just going to use the magic eraser tool. I'm going to have contiguous checked. And now I'm going to click on the parts I want to remove. In the letters there and see it keeps the white within the eagle. And now I can save this truly without a background, save as a PNG because it preserves transparency and put this back into CAD link. And the last thing here is just to run over some of these options. Uh, you don't need to use them often truthfully, but if you wanted to knock out up to four colors, you could enable these check boxes. I enabled all of them. Then you select the bubble, pick another color to knock out. As you can see, it's knocking out the orange, the yellow, that obviously doesn't look right, but for the demo, it shows you what it does. Uh, and then down here, you can view the background in different ways, transparent, so now I don't see anything but the art. 
uh, a red mask, perhaps if you're used to masking in some of the Adobe programs, that's familiar. Uh, showing you the underbase. And then, of course, my favorite, the shirt color. So that's the rundown of Knock Me Color Out. Hopefully this will help improve your shop and your workflow. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and you learned something. Go ahead and drop us a comment if you have any questions. Of course, subscribe to the channel, all that fun stuff. Until next time, DTF Superstore out.